I'm Justine Louise. Welcome to my channel. Today I am talking about some gift ideas for him. I find this is the most challenging group of people to buy for over Christmas, so I thought this would be a good time to start. I'm also going to do one on gifts for her, as well as gifts for people that you don't know very well. I always find that's a big struggle when you want to buy something for you know, a neighbor, a gardener, somebody who's helped you out throughout the year and you just want to say thank you and that you're thinking of them. I find those ones are sometimes really tough. So I am going to do a segment on that. But first, I think we'll go through the toughest of all, which is for him. Now, I have a husband, a um, dad to buy for, and sometimes I find them very, very difficult, um, especially my husband because he kind of buys whatever he wants or needs. He's also really into gadgets and I don't know the first thing about them so sometimes I've bought him things in the past and he says oh that was 10 years ago that was popular now this is the latest so I let him deal with his own gadgets but I always like to try and find something kind of neat for him to open so he always has something nice to open on Christmas Day usually 50% of them end up going back but at least I tried so anyway um, let's get started so I'm going to actually do this in segments so I will timestamp them. I'm going to do under $50, under $100, and then a few little kind of luxury gifts that are a little bit more pricey. So if you're only interested in a certain price point, you can skip ahead. And if not, you can just stay tuned. So anyway, I'm going to start off with the 50 and under. And a lot of the items are well under $50, but I just thought that was a nice cap to start with. So I'm going to start off with a toiletry item. Um, my husband isn't the type of person to go out and buy fancy toiletries for himself. He uses Dove soap and he would even wash his hair and his face with it if that's all he had. Um, but my mother-in-law actually bought him for his birthday because she was racking her brains what to buy for him. And she actually bought him this, it's called Every Man Jack and it's a body wash. And then she also then bought him the two-in-one daily shampoo and conditioner. And it comes in a couple of different scents. Um, my husband has the sandalwood and he really, really likes it. It has a traditional masculine smell. And you just buy it from the drugstore, so it's not super expensive, but it's just a little bit fancier than Irish Spring. So it's just a little something that's kind of nice to put in a stocking. Um, I know some men don't like body washes, but the um, shampoo is really, really nice. He finds it nice and thickening for his hair. Um, so he just really, really likes it. And again, it has a nice masculine smell and it's not your traditional um, dial soap or whatever it is that he, they normally use. The next thing um, was actually recommended for my husband and he has one and we've now bought one for my dad for Christmas and we've actually given them to a lot of men that we know. If your guy likes to grill or barbecue we call in Canada, we were shown these, they're like silicone sheets. I'm not going to open this one because it's for my dad, but it's just like a, a Teflon, kind of like the silicone liners you put on a baking tray. It's similar to that and you put it on your barbecue and that way your barbecue grill top doesn't get dirty. And when we first heard about it, we thought, well, how does that work? I just don't understand it because they're almost paper thin. Um, and I like grill marks on my meat and my husband said, oh no, my wife's not going to like that. She likes grill marks. And the guy who told him about it said, oh no, you'll still get the grill marks. It's amazing. Um, all the barbecue sauce doesn't drip through and then end up all through your barbecue and doesn't make a mess. All the mess is on this barbecue sheet. It just lies out flat. You can flip burgers on it and it's exactly the same as a barbecue, but less mess. So like I said, my husband's gifted them to so many men that he knows and we've now bought a set and my dad's getting one for Christmas. So these are just available on Amazon. They're very inexpensive. I think his friend first saw it was one of those as seen on TV kind of things, but it actually really does work and it's a re really neat little gadget. Another thing is if your um, guy likes car stuff, he may be loyal to a certain brand or his own personal vehicle um, he really likes and he likes that brand is to go to the dealership and they usually have a nice little setup there of some things you can buy, whether it's a keychain, t-shirts. Um, in particular, we have a mouse pad and an umbrella um, and it's for the logo of our of my husband's car. My dad, we bought him a keychain um, one year and it was it was a very nice 
fancy keychain. It was quite substantial and we got it in the brand of his car and he was thrilled to bits. So that's also an idea if, you, if you're if you married to a car guy or know a car guy that you need to buy for. And on that same um, topic is car wash stuff. My husband is fanatical about washing his car. So I'm not even going to get into the products that he go, he's he won't even let the dealership wash his car because he thinks that they don't do a good enough job. So that's how fanatical he is. But you can even go to the car place in Canada, we call it Canadian Tire, but Walmart or whatever, and buy him a kit, you know, with a chamois, a sponge, car wash, glove, some soap, armor all. Um, if you're, if, the, if you know the guy is really into cars and cleaning cars and detailing, that's a nice little uh, gift suggestion. I know my dad's fanatical about cleaning cars too, and last year we gifted him a little pack and he was quite thrilled with that because it was all packaged together. And you can do it in any price point, just doing all little bits, and it's a nice little gift idea for someone who's really into cars. Um, another one is um, my husband doesn't wear aftershave. And if you buy our cologne or anything like that, he will on rare occasion, he's received a few gifts of bottles of it, but he's not really into fragrances. But his um, mom bought him a deodorant one year and it's a Chanel deodorant. So it is a little bit pricey, but it's not extremely expensive as a, a typical fragrance would cost. And it still gives that nice little bit of scent. So he actually ends up just wearing this if he's um, going out for an evening out. And then that way he has a little tiny bit of scent and it's not overpowering and it's not super expensive, but it's still like a nice little luxury gift. Um, you just get it in any brand that he likes, but I think the Chanel is just a little bit fancier just because of the name and giving someone that's Chanel, it's quite nice and you don't have to spend over a hundred dollars to do it. Another thing um, is getting a personalized mug. I know it's kind of a boring thing, but you know, if you have kids and you want to put photos of your children on a mug and they can use it when they are at work and it's just a nice little thing. So I've actually done it a couple of times for my husband. Um, we have a cat, so he has one with his cat on it and it's now been downgraded to a pen cup because he didn't like how the white inside kind of all chipped away. But we just had this done at Costco. It was really inexpensive. I think it was like 15 or $20. Super easy to do. I think Walmart does it. But yeah, just send in a photo of somebody special in their life and then um, have a mug made. And a little bit of shameless promotion. This was my mug to him last year. This time I got a black interior so it doesn't get damaged. And it was just photos of myself and he just uses this at home. He doesn't take it to work or anything. So that's also a nice little personal idea and it's not super expensive and you can put anything on it um, of something that you both care about or he cares about. It's quite nice. Another one is a cookbook. Um, this one is mine, it's a Jamie Oliver. Um, when I am planning, pra planning to buy, it's just a new release and it's four ingredients. I think it would be fabulous for any guy who loves to cook, especially um, a bachelor or again, someone who loves to cook. Um, the four ingredient one, I just really caught my eye because they're all simple things to make with only four ingredients, which is um, easy and they're quick and tasty and Jamie Oliver's food is pretty hearty and it's kind of man's man's kind of food. I know my husband really likes it so um, I think that would be a great little gift idea. Um, I've, I personally love getting cookbooks and I know my brother loves to cook and he likes cookbooks too so it's just an idea. Another one is um, a bottle of liqueur. Um, most men don't really go out and buy liqueurs for themselves. They're happy to go and buy beer and that sort of thing but maybe just to have a nice bottle of something um, you know for somebody maybe you have to buy for a guy that you don't know very well even if they don't personally drink it's something nice that they can keep in their bar and offer to guests if they're entertaining over the holidays and usually at Christmas time the liquor store will usually do sets like this one comes with a coffee mug and nicely gift wrap so my gift is already set up like this so I'm actually I've bought about 10 of these because I'm giving them to quite a few men that I know um, you know like our gardener and things like that but I'm gonna get into that in my other video when you buy gifts for people you don't know very well but this is a great gift idea for a man um, you know if he likes a certain whiskey or 
you know, some sort of special liqueur that they wouldn't normally buy for themselves is always kind of a nice treat. Now, I also love these hydro flasks. Um, this one is my husband, so he's got a nice big one that he likes to use for cold drinks. And this one he uses for tea and it stays hot and he keeps it in his car and it fits in the car holder really nicely. They're a great gift for anybody. But you know, if there's an outdoor enthusiast that you know, or someone goes to the gym or a sporty or likes to drink a lot of water or coffee or tea, these are great bottles. I also bought one um, and it actually comes in a nice gift um, box and it's a swell bottle and this one I'm going to be gifting to my stepdaughter's boyfriend. Um, I don't know him very well so I'm going to give him this and a, a sweatshirt and I just thought this would be a nice gift um, especially because I don't know him very well but it's a nice bottle and high quality and hopefully he'll really like it. Now I'm going up a little bit in price and I'm going to show you this nice toiletry bag. This one belongs to my husband. He got it, it's from Toomey, and it is his all-time favorite. It has a nice hanging hook. I mean, this is an older model. They probably don't even make them anymore, but you know, it's something that most guys don't go out and buy for themselves. So it might be nice to gift them a nice toiletry bag if they like to travel a lot. Uh, there are lots of um, companies out now that will even initial them, which is always fun to get something initial makes it a little bit more personal. So anyway, a nice toiletry bag is always nice. And again, especially if you travel a lot. And another item that I always buy for my dad every year, but I haven't bought for this year because I think he has everything is something from a sports team that they follow. My dad is a huge Manchester United fan, but maybe somebody, baseballs, soccer, football, whatever team it is, hockey, maybe something from that um, team, you know, maybe a hat, a jersey, sweatshirt. My dad has everything. I've even bought him a bathrobe from Manchester United. He has a wallet, uh, t-shirts, jackets, you name it, um, tracksuit, and he absolutely adores it. So uh, that's always a, a winner at my house, and it might be with you as well if you have a sports enthusiast. Now this is something I've bought for my husband this year. It's from VSSL. It's a company actually in Vancouver. And what it is, it's a survival kit. And it comes in a long tube. The reason why I've bought this for him is because my husband is a adventure motorcyclist and I hate it, but it is what it is. And I would be happier if I knew. He has a whole kit set up, an emergency kit inside his um, bike, but this has all emergency supplies. Sorry, I'm having a hard time opening this. But I will insert a photo so you can see what it looks like. But it, inside it has a candle, a flashlight. Um, I'll read it here. An LED lantern, lanterns, a compass, candles, razor blade, water for purification, first aid supplies, fishing gear, you name it. And I think this is about a hundred dollars and it comes in a beautiful aluminum tube that he can just keep in his um, saddlebags. And I'll feel so much better knowing he has this. So if somebody you know is a hiker or an outdoors person, you might feel more happy knowing that they have this little survival kit and it looks really nice, looks really high quality. And this particular company, they even have them with different brands, like if they like certain logos and things like that. So um, I just got the plain Canada one because I thought my husband would like that because he's a new, newly Canadian citizen, so he loves Canada. So anyway, I just thought this was a really neat idea for an outdoorsy kind of person. And another item, this was actually gifted to my husband um, from my parents, and he gets one every year, is something from Lululemon. If you're not familiar with the brand, it's kind of, uh, started off kind of as yoga clothing, it expanded to fitness and running, and they now sell um, clothes that are kind of athleisure, and my husband loves it. I mean, this top here, I think, is at least five years old. It lasts forever. It's a very high quality product, and that's why I'm suggesting if you wanna make an investment in a nice piece of clothing for, your, for a guy in your life, I highly recommend anything from Lululemon. Um, these tops are around $100, they're not cheap for just like a fitness athletic wear, but they're great for travel. My husband wears them on the plane, wears them around the house. He can wear them and actually look smart if he goes out. 
they're just great great products they sell a lot of things but these are just nice basic long sleeves I showed you one with a zip and then just a plain highly highly recommend these another thing um, my husband owns it um, this now we're getting into our more high-end things although this particular item you can get in all different price points um, but it can be kind of pricey is a leather man um, my husband does have one but he said he can't find it so <laughs> Um, I can't show you, but I will insert a photo of what kinds you can get. And it's basically a, a utility knife. He keeps it in his bike as well. And now he's going to have this um, other first aid kind of kit in there. But he always has this Leatherman and he takes it on every holiday we go on because it has come in so handy for so many things. We actually now call it Leatherman to the rescue because it's gotten us out of a lot of trouble with many things, I had a purse strap break and he was able to crimp the chain back together using this Leatherman. It's just come in so handy so many times. So, you know, if, if a guy you know it needs like gadgety kind of things, that's always a, a winner, that's for sure. And you can get them in all different price points, so you don't have to spend a lot of money. I think my husband's was around $120 and he had kind of the mid-range one, but there's less expensive and then more expensive. Um, a gift that I've bought for him for this year is a bathrobe. Um, it's always nice to just kind of replace um, bathrobes and slippers and things like that. So I actually bought him this one from UGG. Um, it looks quite nice. I, when we were in Vegas in the summer, he saw one at the outlet and he loved it. And I said, you should buy it. And he didn't. And then he came home and he said, well, I wish I bought that UGG bathrobe. And I cannot for the life of me find it anywhere. So I found this one that looks quite similar. And it's just a nice um, kind of t-shirt, thicker than t-shirt material, but just nice, soft, comfortable, cottony kind of robe. So we'll see. I, I'm not I'm about 50% sure this one's stained. But anyway, it's just a nice idea, a robe, no matter what price point. Um, but it's just something nice to always get at Christmas. Pajamas, robes, slippers, that sort of thing. One item that my husband absolutely loves is his Bose noise cancelling headset. Especially if um, you travel a lot. He loves this one, especially when there's screaming babies on board. So it's just a, a basic headset. Um, his is the wireless one and noise cancelling. So that's that there. But they come in lots of different versions. And you can get all different price points as well. It doesn't have to be top of the line. If they go to the gym, they like to um, travel, there's lots of reasons why you would use a headset. I personally don't. I prefer to read. But anyway, he loves music and he loves to just sit and relax and listen to his earphones. So that's a nice, but again, it's a little bit of a, a pricey one, but you can get lower price points as well. But I'm just showing you a, a nice one if you're thinking of splurging a little. And last but not least is a fancy electric toothbrush. This is my husband's all-time favorite. I think we've gone through about three or four of them. Um, but he likes this one because it's black and it's just a little bit more masculine rather than the traditional white ones. And this one is the Philips Sonic Care. I think it's diamond clean or something like that. And it's quite fancy and quite nice. But the nicest part about it is that it's black and it's just nice and masculine. You can even buy the black toothbrush heads for it um, and I have the pink one but um, yeah so we like to have his and hers but it's just a nice little luxury item and my mom actually bought one for my dad last year and he was thrilled because it is a wonderful toothbrush I highly recommend it and then also it's just a little bit more personal and a little bit more masculine getting it in the black version so I think that concludes my gift ideas for him. I hope it helps you and I hope you get some ideas from it. I'd love to hear what you're getting some, for some guys this, this Christmas because I struggle with it every year. Um, I, I just find men very, very difficult to buy for or maybe it's just I just don't enjoy it as much as shopping for women. I don't know. Anyway, I hope these ideas helped you and I will definitely be posting more videos. As I mentioned, I will be doing one for ladies and I will also be doing one for uh, people that you don't know very well, whether it be a friend, neighbor, somebody that um, is a caregiver or helper for you or secret Santa or whatever. I just have a, a couple of ideas that might be helpful for you. So anyway, if you like the video, hit like and please subscribe so you'll find out more. And I hope to see you soon. Bye.